control. Get rid of these fucking walkers! Come on, Willy. Supplies going overboard! God damn it! Someone get over there and see what's going on! Stay shot! Under attack! Okay, now's our chance. Can't risk leaving cover. We'll have to crawl along the side of the dock. The guts are coming off. Okay? I'm fine. Stay close. Stay hidden. Stay close. Stay hidden. Come on, let's hurry. Ready, AJ? Walkers incoming! Getting close. After we find the boiler and place the bomb, we'll get our friends out. Minnie said they keep prisoners on the second deck. Look out for guards and stay quiet, okay? Good. I'll scout ahead and signal when it's clear. Got it?
Hey, who's there? Where we need to plant the bomb. There's too much stuff in the way. Maybe there's another way in. Wait here. Up to your name, Ruby's Revenge. We all love and support you. Once they start up this boat, we won't have much time before it explodes. How long? Not sure. An hour, 30 minutes. I guess we'd better move. Focus. Yes, ma'am. I, I have a little brother, short, scarred face. See, he, he's not out there, is he? Look, we've discussed this. Your family is Delta now. There ain't no room for anyone else. Yes, ma'am. There's no way we can get in there without her seeing us. People. I swear to God, if you got Ten caught up in this, just, just tell me that he's safe. Give me that. Go see for yourself. He's outside. You brought him here? We kept him away from the fighting. He's safe. you get everyone out then you take my brother and run I never want to see you again come on we have to hurry Clementine holy fuck oh my god are you okay he doesn't look hurt I uh, yeah I'm all right we're all right get Violet first she needs to know you're here 
I'll unlock the other cell. We don't have a lot of time before Dorian comes back. Louis, give me a hand. Yeah, sure. Vi, what happened? Are you okay? Violet, talk to me. We're here to take you home. I looked for you. When they grabbed me, I saw you let them take me. I'm just supposed to forget that because you're here now? Some fucking friend you are. Louis wouldn't have stood a chance against these guys. I knew you could fight back. <laughs> yeah, sure. What's wrong with you, Vi? Come on, let's get the hell out of here. No, Clem. I'm done. This whole situation is so fucked. At least here I have Minnie. You mean the Minnie that betrayed us? Don't act like you know her. She tried to escape. Her and Sophie. They said if I fight back, they'd kill Minnie. Or one of you. All you've done is get us hurt or killed. If you fuck this up worse, I'll stop you myself. And don't think I won't. I'm not losing her again or anyone else. We can't give up now. If they take us back to their community, we'll all die. So what? Your plan is to speed up the process? Whatever you do, leave me out of it. Staying here that long. Violet, come on. Fuck off. Clem. Are you all right? I'm fine. Where's AJ? Over here! Thank God. Is Vi all right? She's saying she won't help us. What the shit? Are you serious? Ugh. We're not moving yet, so at least we've got some time. I guess. Louis, are you all right? <laughs> Me? Yeah, I'm fine. Just trying to figure out the best way to survive an explosion. You doing okay in there, AJ? Yeah, I'm all right. I'm looking for a way out. Yeah, me too. The doors don't look very well made. Maybe that's something we can work with. I might be able to chip away at this if I had a tool or... Damn it, they must have taken away my knife. AJ! Do you still have your knife? Yeah, they didn't find it. Only the big one. Good. I need you to slide it over to me.
whatever you doing. Don't. I promise you. It ain't worth it. Step back. She awake? Yes, ma'am. Good. I'll take it from here. Where's Abel? He's dead. We killed him. We put a knife in his head. Fuck. You little monster. Damn it! That was my call. I killed him myself. Back up. Minerva, open the door. Yes, ma'am. Normally, the trouble you caused, I'd shoot you and toss you overboard. But I'm genuinely impressed. First, you organize these idiot kids into a fighting force and kill two of my most experienced soldiers. Then you sneak onto my boat under the cover of a herd. I bring a prize like you back to the Delta. It might make this whole clusterfuck of a mission worth it. Someone like you, so young with so much potential, you're far too valuable to kill. Look, if I'm the one you want, let the others go. This isn't a negotiation. This is me telling you how things are going to be. You know, my father, Larry, was a military man. And when I was a kid, he had all kinds of rules. The thing that bugged him most was waste. If I ever left a light on after leaving a room, <laughs> he'd flip. No matter how many times he ranted about the cost of electricity, I could never remember to hit that switch. So? So one day, he let our power get cut. He liked illustrations to show that actions have consequences. No more TV, no more hair dryer, no more ice cream sandwiches. Just a miserable family sitting in the dark. Good. I can see you're paying attention. My father had his faults. But he showed me the effectiveness of teaching by example. Oh, is that what this is? A lesson? I want to tell you a story. Let's call it... The Parable of the Twins. Two girls were taken from their home and brought to a new place to live. They had to leave their friends and family behind, and that was hard at first. They shed a lot of tears. But the new place was a good place. The people there grew corn and raised pigs, and the twins ate well for the first time in years. They had hot showers, clean clothes, beds. They were given guns and trained to use them. The people there were kind to these girls. All that was asked in return was that they help defend the group. You see, this place had a lot of enemies, killers and thieves who wanted what they had. I wonder if that's how the twins would tell it. One of them would. One of the girls saw that this was a place worth fighting for, and her tears dried. But the other twin, she could never forget her old home. She rejected every gift, every opportunity, stirred up trouble every chance she got. She convinced her sister to help her steal a rat and leave on the river. Of course, they didn't get far. What happened then, Minerva? I killed her. Shit, Minnie, what the fuck? Is that true? 
Your own sister? Why would you do that? She was twisting my head with her lies. And? I made a mistake. I needed to show my loyalty to the place I call home. Like it or not, you're one of my people now, Clem. The question is, which twin are you going to be? The loyal one? Or the dead one? You... You brainwashed her! You people are fucking sick! Y'all better back away from the door! Lewis, calm down! Just do what they say! Fuck no! Look what they did to many! I'd rather die than become that! Pull the mouthy one out of the cell. They clearly didn't get the moral of the story. We'll have to help them understand. Stop! Don't hurt Lewis, or I'll hurt you. Hey, yo, you better cool it, or you gonna get yourself hurt. Fuck, 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 fuck! Easy! Stay still. No, 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 please, come! Don't make this hurt more than it has to. Come on. Just breathe. to die. We'll kill you! You think you can kill me? I know I can. I will put a knife right to the side of your head! Big talk for a little guy. <sighs> I know I can do it. I killed Marlin. He wasn't a monster, but you are! So you killed Marlin. Huh. I bet you'd make a great soldier. Lily, please, don't hurt AJ. I'll do whatever you want. Clem seems to care a lot about you. Come on, let's go have a chat. Just us. <laughs> don't you fucking touch him! Clem! No, no, please! Clem inside! AJ! Keep an eye on her, Minerva. Lily, don't! Get this thing moving. I want to be far away from you. Fast. I'll start up the boiler. Don't. Don't you dare look at me like that! This is the only way we survive. Are you serious right now? After everything that she's done, you're just gonna help her? Fuck you! Minerva! Fuck off! What the hell happened to you? You killed Sophie! What the fuck? You just decided, hey, I'll work for these people. They seem the friendly fuck enough. Are you doing? Don't act like you understand what happened. Uh, you uh, fuck you! Uh, what the hell are you doing? Uh, Stop! Here. 
I won't let you get them all killed! Stop, Minerva! I'm warning you! What the hell is going on down here? No, no, no! Wait, that's not what I... Dorian! No! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Violet, we have to go. Bomb on the boat. Fuck you, there's a bomb. Mitch is dead. You just, just fucking go. We have to get the hell out of here now. Go. I need to find AJ. I I can uh... I'll be fine. Better see you on land. You will. Focus that energy. Sharpen it. I've known Clementine since before this all started. She'll come around. You'll come around too, once you see what we have to offer. Plenty of food, you'll come around too. And once you see, you can even share a room. Found one Plenty more, sneaking food, comfortable the bags for you and Clem. You can even... Tin! Fuck. Tennessee, did you get lost? Ma'am! He wasn't alone. I got something else to show you. This way. Found this in the herd. No wonder there were so many walkers. Must have thought you were clever leaving those walkers here. Or was that Clementine's idea? Nothing to say? You don't fucking scare me. Is that so? You force your ways onto others. Because you're afraid. Because you're weak. I give my people a cause to fight for. The thing about people like him, AJ, is that they're too broken to fit into a community. They won't fight for anyone but themselves. <laughs> Kill it. No! Fuck! Easy there, Ten. Don't hurt him. Just stop hurting people. Please. Shooter! Why don't we all just take a breath, all right? Give me my friends back. Put down the gun. Let them go. All of us. Or, or else. Fine. Go ahead, then. Do it. Save your friends. That's what you came here to do, isn't it? <laughs> oh, I see. You came here to cry. Tim. <laughs> Looks like you're not a soldier either. Please, don't! No!
give up. Put down the gun. I'll let everyone leave. My crew and I will leave. We won't bother you anymore. AJ! She's not a threat. Lower the gun. You weren't down there. You didn't see what she did. She tried to cut us all up. sorrow cast out in this wide world to roam uncertain of life for tomorrow I want to make heaven my home sometimes I am tossed and driven sometimes I know not where to roam I heard of a city called heaven I'm striving to make it my home I have a few days yet to wander a few more hard battles to fight no comfort I find in the daylight the storms are descending night sometimes I'm both tossed and driven so last time on the walking dead since I can remember, Clem's always been there with me. She taught me to be careful, to be quiet, to be strong, to save the last bullet for myself, to atone when I did something bad, to make the bad people suffer. I always listen to Clem, always, but I've been thinking more. I don't know if she's right every time. She told me to shoot her if she got bit. That doesn't feel right. We're doing a lot of bad things. To save our friends. To protect our home. But when Clem told me not to shoot Lily, and she, she killed James, I got mad. So mad. is never go alone.
You have to trust me. On the count of three, let go and I'll catch you. Promise? Promise. One, two, three. longer. There! We can go on down from there. Well, we have to get there first. Okay, we've got to jump. It's far. I know it's far, but it's the only way. You'll have to go first. You'll need a running start. I don't know, Clem. Come on, you can do this, AJ. Just run and jump. You got this. I got this. I got this. AJ, what do we do when we're scared? Here we go.
you're going! 